Before we start this video, I just want to make a quick shout out to Felix Drosta for this awesome fan art. Never did I ever think that my content would bring viewers from all around the world, and even let alone some fan art. So please give Felix Draw Stuff a follow on Instagram and show him some love. The link to his Instagram will be in the description below. Also, if you have any fan art of your own and want to share, feel free to send me a message on my Instagram at Mr. Shen Ramen and I'll gladly feature them in future videos. With that said, let's get into today's video. In today's episode of Solved Mysteries, we're going to be observing a murder case from Hong Kong known as the An An Kindergarten Stabbing. What's interesting about this case is that a man has killed over six people by stabbing them with a knife in which four of the victims were innocent children. But what makes this case unusual is that in 2015, Hong Kong had one of the lowest murder rates in the world and was considered to be one of the safest countries to live. So, what happened at the An An Kindergarten School? Why did the perpetrator commit such a heinous crime? Also, has he ever been caught and arrested by the police? These are questions that we'll be answering as we dive deep into the clues of this case. Let's get into this case now. On June 3rd, 1982, in Sham Shui Po, which is a district of Hong Kong, a 28-year-old Li Shang Heng entered the kindergarten and stabbed 34 children in which four of them were fatal and also injured several other people before he could be arrested by the police. Li, who was the son of Li Wing Chu and Long Lai Quen, was diagnosed with schizophrenia. According to his father, he was a silent boy who performed poorly in school, showed strange behavior, and spoke incoherently that worried his parents immensely. In 1976, he was admitted to the Castle Peak Mental Hospital for six months after getting into a physical altercation with the neighbor. It was mentioned that Lee also frequently suffered from depression and threatened to kill his parents during an argument on New Year's Eve of 1979. But in the time prior to the stabbing, Lee was unemployed and was said to have appeared emotionally unstable according to his various acquaintances. So right from the beginning, Li Shai Heng seemed to be an individual that was potentially dangerous to society. However, at around 1.30 p.m. on June 3rd, 1982, Li stabbed his mother and sister in the apartment on the 12th floor of a building of the Un Chao Street Estate, in which they later passed away in the hospital. Armed with two knives with 8-inch blades and two chisels, Li then ran downstairs, stabbed two other women on his way, and finally entered the An An Kindergarten, where 60 children between the ages of 3 and 4 were having a singing lessons. He immediately began slashing and stabbing the children, leaving 34 of them wounded, six of them with their arms nearly severed, and four with fatal injuries. When two police officers arrived at the scene, Li fled to the playground where he stabbed the constable, Chan King Ming, in the chest. Ignoring the injured policeman's orders to drop his weapons, Li just kept stabbing at the passerbys and wounded two more men, a woman, and a 14-year-old boy before Chan stopped him with a shot to the left arm and stomach, ultimately preventing Li from stabbing more innocent civilians and for the Hong Kong police to finally arresting him. After this particular incident, security measures at nursery schools were upgraded, and it was made compulsory for discharged patients of mental institutions to regularly attend psychiatric outpatient clinics. Lee was charged with six counts of murder, and in April of 1983, he was sentenced to be detained in a mental hospital for an unspecified period. As of January 1998, he was still being held at the Su Lam Psychiatric Center in Tuam Mung. 